if you were to walk into an elevator, you walk into it, I want you to visualize this. You walk into an elevator, there's three people in the elevator. You walk in and guess what? One out of four people in that elevator are probably safe. In America, any elevator in city, you go downtown Jacksonville, you go into one of these high rises, go in an elevator, and there's three other people there, guess what? Those three people are probably not saved. Now we are soul winners, we're Christians, we're, we know what's going on, right? You walk into the elevator and guess what happens when the elevator stops? And you walk out. Three out of four people are still unsaved. Three out of four people are on their way to hell because you didn't open your mouth. Well now wait, Brother Fan, that's socially awkward to go into an elevator and tell somebody about Jesus. They're going to think I'm strange. Yeah, that's a great persecution, isn't it? For them to scoff at you and mock you. What they, what's the worst? Are they going to cuss you out? How terrible, right? Think about it. I mean, if you sold Amway, you'd probably open your mouth. If you sold essential oils, you'd probably open your mouth. Oh, hey, i got three people in here. Look at this. Do you want uh, frankincense or do you want myrrh? i got some oil. Look at, do you, what, what do you like? What kind of oil do you want? Man, I got some blueberry scented stuff. Is that the one you want? Uh, you talking to me? Yeah, here, I got oil for you. Right? You'd be excited. You'd be trying to give it out. But we've got a free gift of everlasting life, and we just keep quiet. We hunker down. We wait for the war to pass, and we're failing. We're failing as Christians. And you think about it. What should you do? You get on the elevator. Wow, you know, this thing could fall at any moment. Hey, let me ask you this. Are you if this elevator crashed right now, are you 100% sure you'd go to heaven? Right? Who's going to heaven today? Who wants to hear the gospel? Think about it. Can you take one with you? What if the other two people say, you're not allowed to do that. You can't, you're not allowed to solicit. I'm not soliciting. I'm giving a free gift. You can't pass out handbills. I don't care. Take me to jail. You're not supposed to speak. That's rude. Well, then you leave. I'm talking to the one person that I got their attention that they've been thinking about it. You never know. You step into an elevator and everybody has smiles on, but in their heart, somebody's saying, man, I just don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go. I've been wondering. I want to know. I want to figure it out. I want to be sure. And that could be your opportunity. Instead, you just pass on through. Three out of four end up going to hell. We can change the odds. The odds are... Those people are going to die and go to hell. We can change the odds if we would only open our mouth. The opportunity is in our hand. We have the power to forgive sins. God has given it to us. He has reconciled the world. He's given us the ministry of reconciliation. All I have to do is tell them, hey, did you know your sins are forgiven? It's a free gift. All you have to do is take it. It's not what I've done for you. It's what's already been completed by God. Jesus already finished the work. All you have to do is receive it.